I was very lucky to get involved with this. I played old time music, played banjo for about eight years and loved old time music. And I went to a dance that Sandy Bradley was calling in Cleveland and, I, and she taught the dances like that and had everybody having a lot of fun. We danced a lot and we were all smiling and laughing. She had a great sense of humor, but she really, her teaching was excellent. So I looked at that and of course, calls fit the music and it just was zing this is it this is the music to the tunes that I play so um, I went to that dance and then later that summer I went to Augusta dance week because uh, trapezoid told me you should just go to Augusta dance week I said what is that I'd never really danced so I went and immediately fell in love with the whole dance scene and I walked around town all week saying the four count rhymes because they were so cute and I loved the way the patter fit the music. So I just thought, oh, this is so fun. I never thought about calling. And um, kind of late in the week, I went to one calling class and I sat in the back and she said, come on up here, you could do this. And I said, me, I'm a brand new dancer. She said, you were mouthing the calls while you were dancing. And I thought, yeah, actually, I do hear this. So I bought a record and I went home and I learned to square dance and came back the next day to class and called it. And it was, it was just so natural. And it was just that permission of, you can do this. And then all I had to do was find some dances, get some words. So th then it was a progression of going to parties and grabbing eight people and saying, let's try this. And, you know, feeding people dinner and, dancing and calling, just trying things out. And then I got a bar to let me call on Monday nights and just taking every little opportunity to do this thing that I thought was so neat, but wasn't happening where I lived. There were, Cincinnati barely had any dancing. Dayton, of course, didn't have any. I found about a dance weekend in Bloomington, Indiana, Sugar Hill, so I went to that and Boy, that was dynamite, but you had to stay up to 2 o'clock in the morning to call any dances. So it, it took a long time to get my foot in the door of just trying this thing that I thought was so neat and then kind of making it my own. Squares were it. Squares were my first love. And when I would go to Pittsburgh, there was Larry Edelman, Ron Buchanan, Dolores Hagee. So Pittsburgh was all squares all the time. Chicago had a lot of great square callers. Um, Bloomington had a lot of square callers. So squares were really happening when I first started dancing. And when I was at Augusta, I danced contras and I thought, oh, this is interesting and it fits the music, but in a different way. So uh, when I tried calling my first contra, it was really a challenge because unlike squares where I was just kind of moving things along, still calling with the phrase, but not being tied to that AABB format, contras were a challenge. When I first started dancing, there were definitely way more male callers than there were practically no women calling. And Dolores Hagee was one notable exception, but it didn't matter to me because I wasn't trying to break into a scene. I just wanted to bring this to wherever I was. I wanted to have the option of having this kind of dancing. And if I had to call it, I would. So when I tried to then get gigs in New England, there was a certain resistance by the hierarchy of men because I wasn't what they were used to. And, you know, I remember Todd wouldn't hire me to call his dance and he was, he was hesitant. He didn't think I would be appropriate, but then he didn't know because he hadn't heard me call. And I talked to Michael McKernan. I said, it's really fun to come to this dawn dance. I'd like to call it sometime. He said, well, what do you do? I said, squares and contras. He said, oh, people here don't like squares. And I thought, well, they might like mine. <laughs> and another fun thing was like uh, George Marshall let me call one square at the Greenfield dance. And so I did. And this woman came up and she said, you're a really good caller, she says, but dancing to you is like dancing to AM and we're used to dancing to FM <laughs> because I just had that faster pace. And so it, I, I always felt like New England was more of a, a challenge to break into. So I just thought, let it go. And you know, when it, when it happens, it'll happen. 
But uh, the Midwest and my area was a more comfortable place to be calling.